I've had several questions on Twitter over the past few days about the announcement that the WWE is bringing the King of the Ring tournament back. And apparently it's not just going to be a one-night thing just embedded on Raw or SmackDown. It's going to be playing out over several weeks. You have eight talents from Raw and eight superstars from SmackDown, whatever the hell you want to call it. And my initial reaction is, I always loved the King of the Ring tournament, whereas the Royal Rumble was the match that in a lot of ways you would use as saying, this is the next guy, he's there. The King of the Ring tournament was something you would traditionally want to do to give somebody when maybe they were one to two years away from that spot to where you're saying they're not there yet, but they're going to be, pay attention to them. Now, it didn't always play out that way. Like some of the early winners like Harley Race and the Macho Man Randy Savage. You know, they were, they were big names and stars in and of their own right. But you had Brett win it in 91 and again in 92, kind of again talking to this whole thing of, you know, he's coming, he's coming. You know, Owen in 94, he's coming. Austin in 96, Triple H in 97. A little bit later on, you had Kurt Angle, Edge, Lesnar. You had guys winning it that were either just on the cusp, they were there, but they weren't fully there, or they were getting closer, or they were a little bit ways away, but the WWE was trying to plant the seed in your mind that they were going to be that guy. Now, sure, you're going to point out the Mabels of the world, and hey, you're not going to get every one of them right, okay? But I've always looked at that King of the Ring thing where it's that guy that's one to two years away but has a ton of potential. That's the type of guy that you typically look at to me and you want to be your King of the Ring winner. It is, in terms of natural progression of characters, one step closer to being world champion, but if anything, sets the table for a future Royal Rumble win. But the last few times they did this tournament, it was stupid. William Regal, Sheamus, Wade Barrett, the tournament was just kind of randomly thrown out there. You're doing it on TV. You're forcing them to try and wear the stupid fucking cape and the damn crown and the scepter and all that crap. You didn't really have a purpose for it. You didn't have any plans to really follow up on it. It was just dumb. So my initial thought is, is if you're going to bring this back, it better have a purpose. It's just going to be to burn a couple of weeks of television time just to have some random fuck stick win, then don't bother doing it. Don't bother doing it. And what I don't understand here for the King of the Ring, which was for years the fifth WWF pay-per-view. Now this was a pretty big deal. King of the Ring was a pretty big deal. You, know, you would have other in-your-house pay-per-views and so forth. But it was Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, King of the Ring, SummerSlam, Survivor Series. Those were the big five. And the fact that this has now been res resorted to being a television tournament, I hate that. You can have some of the matches on TV, sure. Expand the tournament if you must. But have the payoff, at least the semifinals and the finals, be on the fucking main, main pay-per-view. Why can't we have a King of the Ring pay-per-view again? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And as many freaking specials that they do on the network, why can't the King of the Rings semifinals and finals be its own damn special? Even if you don't classify it as a big WWE pay-per-view. I don't know. Um, but when you look at the list of participants, I've got them written down here. Uh, from Raw, you've got The Miz, Ricochet, Cedric Alexander, Samoa Joe, Drew McIntyre, Baron Corbin, Taxi Stan, Cesaro. And from SmackDown, you've got Kevin Owens, you've got Ali, You've got Apollo Crews, Chad Gable, Elias, Andrade, Buddy Murphy, Shelton Benjamin. When I look at that list, it is underwhelming to say the least. Underwhelming. Now when you talk about guys that should win it, I'll immediately throw Miz and Kevin Owens out of the mix. Owens has already been world champion. Miz has been world champion. We shouldn't be wasting a King of the Ring concept on them. And Miz gets enough natural attention of, of his own. He doesn't need this. Kevin Owens and what you're doing, it pays off more to have him not win King of the Ring than it actually does to win King of the Ring. Because you've put enough attention, emphasis, and focus on him without it. Why waste it? You look at some of these other guys, though. Like uh, You're always going to have guys in there that have no business being in there. But like Cesaro and 
Taxi stand, give me a break. You're not gonna have them win King of the Ring, are you? Are you? Cedric Alexander, child please. Chad Gable, pfft. You know what, not Apollo Crews? What the hell has he done? Oh, Jeff, when you see Uha Nation in WWE, you're gonna be impressed. Ah, pfft. Just another, just another guy, that's all he is. Uh, when I look at this list of participants, I'm like, even most of these guys that I could envision ha them having win King of the Ring, it just, eh. I don't see what it's going to do. Like, if I had to think right now, the guys that have a chance to actually win it are as follows in no particular order. Ricochet, Samoa Joe, Drew McIntyre, Baron Corbin, Ali, for whatever reason, Elias, Andrade, and Buddy Murphy. And when I look at that list... I'm like, just a tinsy wincy insy bitsy bit underwhelmed. Like Joe winning this tournament, okay, cool, but he still won't win any match that really fucking matters, so what difference would this make? Drew McIntyre, like he's got a lot of what you should have, except the ability to get the crowd to give him a reaction. Calling it as I see it. Baron Corbin, do you really want to dive more into Baron Corbin? Like, must this shit continue? Does Ricochet really feel worthy of being a king of the ring? Ali, please. You know, Buddy Murphy, he's just done being a cruiserweight. He had one match that everybody's talking about with Roman, but he still lost. Like, we're going to now go with him being the king of the ring? Like, we're going to sit there and make him into a top guy? Like, if I was looking at this tournament and handicapping it right now, the two guys that should be considered are Andrade or Elias, and I would skew towards Elias, which absolutely has no chance of happening. This is probably going to be yet another vanilla midget circle jerk fest where somebody like fucking Ricochet is going to win this damn thing or fucking Ali, and the tournament will be stupid, and it will serve no purpose, and there will be no follow-up, and it will be, again, one ginormous waste of fucking time. If you were going to do this, shit, at this point, you might as well do a damn Queen of the Rings shit, too. You want to talk about first evers and all of this. Why not? I don't give a shit. I just, I look at some of the winners over the years, especially the good ones, and I'm like, I look at the participants now. It's a reminder of how many stars you used to have and how many stars you don't have now. And just in general, it's a representation of when you look logically at a lot of these guys, the way they've been built and the way they've been positioned, there's only a couple of these guys that it even really truly makes sense for them to do it. And even then, why would you put this behind them? Either A, if you're going to do something with it, is that the best you could do? And B, if you're not, again, what's the whole point? It just feels like a pathetic, cheap ratings ploy for the next couple of weeks to try and lure people in that loved the King of the Ring back in the day into thinking that that's what this King of the Ring is going to be. And we know it isn't, and I promise you it's not going to be. So as far as this, I will be interested to see, A, who they have win the whole thing, and B, what they do with it. But I have absolutely zero expectations that they are going to get this thing right.